the weapons need to feel heavy and powerful. And when you blast something, you want to see lots of chunks. <laughs> The way that the player interacts in Gears of War is by shooting the world. That's essentially his virtual hand. And what he does is he essentially reaches out and touches the environment. He's touching his enemies to eventually defeat them by unloading bullets into them. The gun is the only thing keeping you alive in the game, and so you're constantly sort of looking for the next good weapon, the next weapon you can find, the next piece of ammo, and it's sort of that search. It sort of gives you that bond of this is what I need to survive. The weapons in Gears generally tend to shy away from some of the kind of uh, laser beamy weapons you see in a lot of sci-fi environments. It was really more about something that looks like a gun, feels like a gun. Uh, it's really why we sort of went with sort of this kind of Vietnam-esque type of uh, weaponry that everything is a ballistics weapon, everything feels real, it's not energy weapons, not laser weapons. <laughs> So your arsenal has expanded in Gears 2, and uh, we have these heavy weapons. The first one's called the Mulcher. It's a heavy Gatling gun. Kind of based off the Predator, kind of, rawr, you know, just go crazy and mow everything down. We have a long-range mortar, which is heavy as well. You can take out enemies from what feels like it's about half a mile away. Again, you have to plant it, and you have to crank it to get to whatever trajectory you shoot. We have the Scorcher, which is our take on a flamethrower. You reload the gun perfectly, the shot goes further, and it burns your enemies to a crisp, and there's much screaming and rejoicing when that happens. And then we have a really cool weapon called the Gorgon, and this is kind of a semi-automatic pistol. And this works well because you can take your enemy hostage and then grab this pistol and essentially <laughs> take them out in a very quick and uh, dirty fashion. We've added the, a new grenade, which is the poison gas grenade, what we call the ink grenade. The poison grenade is this crazy little, uh, I don't know, grub or something and it's filled with this poison gas, and they have it in a little little cage on the end of the chain, and they'll fling it out, and it'll hit the ground, explode, and it'll emit all this crazy ink or poison gas. My favorite weapon in the game has to be the torque boat. I just love the whole, like, the fact that it sticks, and they have a moment of, of pause to know that they're about to die, and then they pop, is, I just love. And what's great in Gears 2 is we've actually added dialogue for that pause, that we actually have the event of, and something explosive is stuck into you, and you get, you know, so people have that half second to go, uh-oh, and then blow up. In adding more into the Gears franchise, we wanted to basically continue the idea of the executions that were in the first one. <laughs> When you play multiplayer of Gears, it's not just about playing it, it's also about watching it. If you die in Gears, you're forced to watch for a little while. That's a very powerful thing when you know other people are looking at you. And if you knock your enemy down, he's trying to crawl away, and you have an option to do all sorts of cool, nasty, hideous things to him, you're going to do it, and you're going to get a good uh, reaction from the crowd. Yeah, I, like, I kind of like the beat down, like when you, when you turn the guy over and you can punch him out. I think that's really cool visually. And I love the, um, the sniper skull crush. You know, he just takes that sniper rifle, swings it over his head, and, and you can just flatten dudes, which is great. And I still like the curb stomp. I mean, but now we, we turn the guy over and you can crush his head from the, from the front. One of the ways we were trying to incentivize gamers in the first gear is to use some of the chainsaws uh, moves and some of the executions uh, was to put them in god mode, essentially. Starting Gears 2, nobody was a fan of that idea. They didn't want players to be protected at all when they were doing an execution. So actively, when you're playing the game and somebody is in front of you and you want to show off your friends and do a cool execution, you're making a choice that this is going to take two and a half seconds to pull off and you better make sure that the area is clear before you show off. <laughs> In Gears 1, when two players would come at each other with chainsaws, it was pretty much a random outcome as far as who would win. And in Gears 2, we actually wanted to make it A, very cinematic, and B, have an actual game mechanic that was implemented. The bottom line is when two characters in Gears engage in a chainsaw duel, it lasts basically two seconds. Pop. Sparks are flying, you know, they grunt, and then it's over. Or like, you know, all we basically have time for is just a quick button mash. So let's see, you know, how many times a person could hit B, and then whoever wins, wins. One word, blood. <laughs> it's a bigger game. It's just bigger scope, larger creatures, more epic scale, etc. And we want to make sure that the player still feels like what he's doing in this universe matters. Nothing says I'm doing damage more than just seeing a blood effect come off of him. And so we've been doing that. Even our bigger creatures, we actually added uh, gore skeletons so that when you can shoot them, you can actually have things fall off of them. 
I mean, you can just blow guys up to smithereens now. You will see entire chunks coming out of them. They, the pieces fall around and they're floppy and they're not, you know, they don't just sit there and, and, and hang out, right, and then fade away. They, they flop around and leave blood splats everywhere. We use the term intimate violence to describe Gears of War. Even though we've sort of grown the scope of the combat um, and sort of bigger weapons as well, we still have these sort of intimate moments with the combat. It's like that old sort of cowboys and Indians feeling in the woods, you know, it, it feels really personal and really intimate. Running away won't help! I'll just shoot you in your asses! <laughs>